Well, here we is. Here it is. Our President Joe Biden has lost patience with the negative press corps before the six month mark. The negative press corps. I'm grid six. And let's get into this article here. President Joe Biden is increasingly dropping his Uncle Joe persona with reporters as pressure mounts on the White House to notch legislative accomplishments before the 2022 midterm elections. They're still 18, week, 18 months away. And they're all already, you know, we have to pass a slew, a whole smattering, slathering slew of a whole bunch of legislation. Like that, for some reason, is shows that They've done something. I I don't know. Biden's growing frustration with the negative questions, the softball questions that you get, suggests the end of his press honeymoon. More than what Trump got. But it also poses problems for the White House communications team as reporters regain access to the president thanks to the easing of pandemic social distancing requirements. Yeah, guess what? They're going to start seeing the president isn't mentally all there. They already are, and it's only going to get worse. Obama White House spokesman Eric Schultz dismissed complaints about Biden's outbursts as a desperate attempt to search for any critique of Biden since nothing else seemed to stick. I'm sorry, so far the... uh, His cognitive abilities seem to be sticking a little bit. And you guys haven't done much to to prove otherwise. Uh, The president answers questions from reporters regularly. Yeah, he's got a list of reporters to to talk to. And it looks like many times he's already got the question and the answer. And it's like he's freaking reading them. With respect and admiration for the role. No, he's... He's had several outposts. That's what this is all about. This White House deeply respects the roles of journalists, with everyone fielding questions and answering them as truthfully and candidly as they can. Mm, now they're politicians. They lie to your face. Sorry. That's both sides. They lie to your frickin' face. But Biden has a history of being prickly when faced with questions he does not like from both reporters and voters. His irritability can, can be contrasted with President Donald Trump's hostility. Oh yeah, we, we, we gotta do the orange man bad thing. I mean, sorry, TDS, get freaking over it. You know, get freaking over the whole TDS thing. Uh, Trump derangement syndrome, for those that don't know what TDS means. Yet, while it shapes with Biden's typically affable public image, it aligns him with reputation for berating staffers who, for instance, litter his speeches with jargon lay people do not, will not understand. Actually, I think you'd be surprised what a lot of people understand. Biden is not apt as his predecessors at spinning an unwelcomed question when with a talking point or Pivot to the message of the day, according to political and media historian Brian Waswald, who contended it was more of a difference in personality than a difference in substance. No, again, this boils back down to he's got mental, no, he's got a dementia, Alzheimer's, something. He can't do it anymore because he doesn't have the mental faculties to do it. Stop making these excuses and see it for what it is. In terms of Democrats, I think there's probably a certain frustration that comes from having to hear conservatives scream and shout about how liberal the media is. Sorry, there's proven reports out there that the media is liberal. They are left-wing. That is proven. Stop with the... I mean, right here, this is so much bullshit that you can... Everything else, I, I question everything else he even says. While confronting reporters, constantly criticizing them, focusing on negative things, etc. But that's probably more at a staff level, he said. In essence, there's a bit of a tug-of-war always going on. 
presidents and their staff want to script everything and focus on positive stuff. The media wants to puncture that idyllic portrait and see its role as holding the administration to account. They didn't quite do that with Obama, sorry. And they're not really doing it with... The only reason why they're doing it with certain issues with Biden is because things are so bad that they've lost so much credibility that they have to do it. They don't want to do it. They have to do it. Or they lose whatever credibility they have. It goes out the window. Historian and journalist professor David Greenberg, the adversarial ad Adversarial relationship between a president and the press is bipartisan phenomenon. It goes back to the- Theodore Roosevelt, the first president of the modern age. He wanted to control the agenda, what was reported on, how it was covered. But the press believes it should set the agenda, and f- that to fall in line behind the president's wishes is mere sternography. That's what they did under Obama. They praised Everything that guy did, pretty much. And they're trying to praise everything Biden does. But in this day and age, they can't do it because there's so many other news sources out there. The trend was exaggerated during the mid-1960s after the Vietnam War and Watergate Fuhrer. Though there are examples of the odd exchange, even from when the dynamic was more sympathetic and cozier. I don't think you can see that much difference between Republicans and Democrats. They all feel the media is being too hard on them. Yeah, you ask a hard question to Democrats, and it's, oh my God, you're negative. Ask the Republican, oh my God, they're going away from the question. Biden chided reporters last week who were peppering with questions about the U.S. troop withdrawal from Afghanistan's Bragham Airfield. I wouldn't say Air Force Base, but just Airfield. The U.S. operation had been headquartered at the airfield, and the personal departure effectively ended the country's military mission despite the Taliban's recent rise. He goes, I want to talk about happy things, man. It's the holiday weekend. I'm going to celebrate it. There's great things happening. Yeah. Your own Democratic Party was sitting there going, it's not the, it's not freedom, it's... No, that was a diff- that's a different story. But he caught himself after criticizing the negative questions going on to describe them as legitimate. I'm sorry, you're the president. You're going to get questions on all different types of things at all different times. Handle it. This guy doesn't have the ability. He's got all types of cards. No, they're telling him what to say. More than half the country doesn't believe he's even the one uh, making policies. He's not even in charge. Only three weeks earlier, Biden had lectured reporters about being negative before boarding Air Force One after a summit with Russian President Vladimir Putin in Geneva. He snapped at a correspondent during his press conference, asserting that she was in the wrong business if she did not comprehend his approach to foreign policy. She had asked the president why he was confident Putin would change his behavior. Look, to be a good reporter, you've got to be negative. You've got to have a negative view on life, okay? It seems to me, the way you all, you never ask a positive question. Uh, And that's basically how the press has been for decades. There's nothing with you about this, sorry. Because, I mean, look guys, I'm going to drive you all crazy because I know you want me to be to always put a negative thrust on things, particularly in public, he added. Biden's interactions with reporters mostly became inflamed if they asked him about his family. During the 2020 campaign, Biden mocked a Fox News correspondent as being classy after he pressed the president about his son, Hunter, fathering a daughter in a drug-induced one-night stand. Actually, I didn't hear about that question. That's a private matter. You're a good man. You're a good man. Classy. He was similarly triggered by an Iowa voter who asked about Hunter's business dealings with the Ukraine oligarchy linked natural gas company Bermuda Holdings. The president blasted the man as a damn liar. 
Yeah, not not a good thing. But you've got a president that gets softball questions, and they're already saying they are losing patience with the negative press corps. I mean, the only reason why they're being hounded is because the people are hounding the press. And it's time that this president, you know, he mans up. He's, he, he's got to start manning up. This administration has to start manning up. And they're not doing it. I don't think they know how to do it. But that's probably a different thing. Well, what do you think? Is the press too negative to Biden? Not negative. Are they asking softball questions? Do you, do you think he's got the questions and answers? I mean, it sure looks like a lot of times that he's already knowing who to qu- who to ask on the for the question and what the question is already so i it seems more like the media and the, them are on the same page i guess a few times the media isn't on the same page and they have to be reprimanded that to, you need to be on our page well that's that's what i got here for right now you can find me on youtube go over to rumble it's much better no get rid of youtube it's, it's definitely going downhill, but uh, I'll see you next video.